Get a free stock with so Moomoo, link in the description below. Click on that link, make an account with them, deposit $100, free money. All right, AMC, so far, it's doing all right. Okay, decent stabilization after a pretty massive drop from $52. It's kind of unfair when you go over to Cinemark stock and these guys are doing really well, going from 17 to like $21, whereas our poor guys over the AMC are the ones heavily being shorted. But long term, I wouldn't really mind it too much. And overall, with Gary Gensler, SEC, there seems to be a lot of probing in the terms of Robinhood CEO. Apparently, he did sell some AMC shares two days before the official buy button disable date on January 28th. Huh, that's not really a coincidence. Seems really suspicious. There's also leaked documents about how there's conspirators and you know, conspiracies, you know, with between Robinhood and Citadel, them conspiring against each other, you know, talking to each other, you know, looking to AMC stock. Hey, be like, hey, you want know what? Disable the buy button, you know? So we got some really uh, crazy stuff happening, drama alerts, people suing each other, banner planes flying across the Hudson River. It's wild stuff. Now, recently, Gary Gensler tweeted out that the commission proposed rules related to corporate governance and says that they want to increase transparency. You could actually start voting, and before this rule is finalized, they want to see what the retail traders have to say. Retail traders recently have been way more involved in trading. I think it's probably the present of social media. Okay, this is very different from two decades ago or even three decades ago, where if you want to trade, it's you got to open like a really serious brokerage account. You got to like call your broker. Nowadays, you open up Robinhood and you do whatever you want. And retail traders are getting together. Okay, Reddit is like a big community. People are banding together. Okay, when you constantly got crazy stuff trending as number one on Reddit and Twitter, I mean, SEC you just can't ignore this anymore. So they want to hear from you. Okay, you can just simply go to sec.gov and you can submit your comments, say what you guys feel. Okay, some people feel like, hey, we need more transparency on the short interest, okay? Since short interest is usually officially updated every once, every two weeks, that's not enough. Some people say it should be updated on a daily basis, even maybe two times a day. We want to see FTDs, naked shorts, all this kind of stuff, okay? There seems to be a lack of transparency in terms of trading, especially complex stocks like AMC, where there's a lot of derivatives and a lot of information being involved, and retail traders don't get to see it. So some people feel like, yeah, retail traders are at a huge disadvantage at this current moment because they don't get to see these massive trades in huge numbers. Thanks for watching, guys, and comment below. How do you guys feel about this? I mean, seriously, if you guys have something to say, over here is the best part. Okay, SEC recently has been a little bit more lenient. They're looking to all this kind of stuff, but let's see what happens, okay? Because this whole Citadel, Robinhood, Ames situation, it's not over just yet. Thanks for watching, guys, and comment below.